you guys it's coffee and today i have a collaboration build for you guys i've never done anything like this you guys know i'm not typically a builder on my channel i don't feel like i'm very good at it but um i actually saw a tweet that went out from hatsy if you guys are familiar with disney builds hatsy does a ton of them i think she actually collaborated with kaleido for the i think it was kaleido if it wasn't Kaleido, I'm really sorry, but I, I believe it was Kaleido. They collaborated on the Beauty and the Beast build that I use in my Dine Out series. But um, uh, Hatsy had put out a tweet that she was doing this big collab with some spooky builds. And I, I volunteered as tribute and I was like, yes, I want to do this. I want to challenge myself to do something different, think outside the box. And, um, you know, I wanted to, I really have been wanting to work with more people in general, not just like people that are already my friends on YouTube. I've been really wanting to reach out to channels bigger and smaller. And I actually have a video coming up on my channel soon where I'm going to be spotlighting some new creators that I've come across. So uh, look for that in the future. But um, anyways, this basically was a spooky lot build and it's on a 50 by 50 lot and there are 12 of us and I will link everybody down below. Hopefully I can gather all their channels and let you guys know like what numbers are which. There's two people after me still that haven't done theirs yet. But basically it's a 50 by 50 lot and one person would build first. We divided it up or Hatsy, I believe, divided it up into 12 sections and each section was four different builders. So um, all of our houses are kind of smashed together and there's like this little mock-up street in the middle, which I thought was so cool. And each house has a different theme. So my theme, if you guys want to see the nine other themes in front of me, please do check out that below bar. I believe there's also going to be a playlist as well. So yeah, please do that. Um, also, I apologize, guys, if you can hear my cats m making a ruckus right now. They're like running around being jerks while I'm trying to record. But um, anyways, my build was the vampire house. And it just like was way too fitting. I did not plan it this way. I actually requested a different house, but somebody else had already gotten it. And oh my gosh, did I mess up the front of someone's house in this video? I really hope not. And I super apologize if I did. I am not like... A great builder um but where was i going with this oh i recently did a cast collab with angelia and we did halloween characters and my character i ended up going with was a vampire which that wasn't planned either so when i started building this house which i think i built it actually today like you're seeing it the day after i built it but um while i was building it i uh, was like, oh my gosh, my house is the vampire house. Like the vampire cast that I created, like this is so perfect. I'm gonna like make this house like she was, she would be living here, my my uh, vampire ember, which you guys can get her on the gallery as well. Uh, you'll also be able to get this lot on the gallery. I posted it to my page and all the other people that we collaborated with have it as well because we all had to take from each other uh, because you can't place multiple houses on one lot. So that's why this lot is super special. But um, yeah, basically, this is just me fumbling around with builds. I spent a good while on the outside of the build. I was kind of surprised that I, I did, considering it was such a small lot. But I really liked the way it turned out. I think it was, I think it, it turned out. And I, I even taught myself some new tricks along the way that I had no idea were even a thing. Um, there were, like, you can use fences and put them down and then delete them to make roofing tiles to get up to the next floor because it was not letting me have another floor, which was driving me insane. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting some nice roofing on. I couldn't decide exactly what kind of roofing I wanted. I, I feel like this looks a little bit witch styled, but I think it, it worked for vampire as well. And I do change those roof tiles later to match some of the other stuff that I use. But I decided to include a little balcony, even though the vampire that I designed this for, I feel like isn't your typical twilight vampire. This is a vampire that can only come out during the day or the day only come out during the night um you know this is this is your typical like old school interview with the vampire vampire house so i wanted to give it a really dark mystical you know feel to it so the entire theme of the house is all black and red even the outside um i thought about putting a little garden up in the front but i i just don't feel like i executed it like amazingly i am not 
good at landscape, you guys. Like, I think I would rather build this house a hundred times over if somebody else would just do the landscape. I am not a landscaper. Um, I think I end up going with a different brick on the outside as well. Like, this is not the brick that I stick with. I find, like, a much cuter one, and I'm like... <gasps> Um, I was thinking about making the roofing area two-toned, but then decided against it. Um, it just didn't look right. Yeah, this is the brick I end up with. This brick, to me, looked so much better, so decided to go with it. Uh, still looks old school, but I just liked it better. I felt like it was a little bit smoother, and I don't know, maybe it's a newer brick house. You know, you feel? Uh, so... Oh man, I didn't even talk about the door. The door, I just liked it. I don't know. It looked like an old school, like castle-y type door. Uh, I decided to try to put some little edging. I thought about red because the whole house, when we get to the inside, you guys will see that it's very like all black and red. Um, I was really trying to derive some inspiration from Underworld 1, 2, and 3. Also part four. Oh my goodness, that's coming soon. I'm so excited. Oh, and the prequel. The prequel was really good too. Uh, but here I am just adding some like really nice shrubs. I feel like if I were a vampire and I don't know, they're always notorious for being like luxurious and liking the finer things and like having just really nice, like posh, cold things, you know? So, uh, here I am trying to figure out what I want to put in the front. I settled for this, uh... This little wishing well i don't know it just it just seemed nice like i i wanted it to be modernized but i also kind of wanted it to be really old school at the same time so i decided to go with the wishing well i really 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 wanted to put a bird bath in there but it just did not work out which was a humongous bummer um so that was a bummer. I ended up sectioning off this front with some hedges because I, w I thought about it and I was like, if I were a vampire and I like didn't typically have visitors and like some girl tried to come sell me Girl Scout cookies during the day when I'm sleeping, would I really want her messing in my garden? And I was like, you know what? No, I wouldn't. I would be like a mean vampire. So nope, you cannot touch my garden. How dare you even look at it? Um in all of its glory. <laughs> so but we'll have a lovely garden party and you're not invited. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, anyone? I feel like I quote a lot of movies and shows in my, in my videos, which, hey, you know what? You know what? I'm a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so I, again, deciding to go with a ton of red flowers. Like, see this? I'm, like, so bad at landscape. I just start, like, shoving things in there. Like, I really wanted it to give the illusion of being super full, but it just, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I was feeling it. Um, obviously, I liked it enough because I did leave it alone. And then I was like, crud, what am I going to put over here? I couldn't figure out how to delete the floor tiles because I wanted to put, like, grass and stuff. But I couldn't figure out how to get rid of the floor tiles without deleting the floor for everybody's lot. So I just decided to work with it. Um, I ended up putting a little chest set out here, even though my vampires would probably, like, never use it because... I don't know. I just, I feel like they wouldn't use it. So I just put a chest set out there, I guess just for show, you know, oh, and I didn't put the chest pieces facing them. I'm so stupid. That's how you can tell that that is for show. The chest isn't even like facing the chairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I really wanted to light the area, but then I think I, I don't think I end up putting a light there because like nothing looked good. I don't remember what I end up putting there. Do I put a light there? I don't remember what I end up putting there. Oh, I think I, did I go with that? Yeah, I think I put some little like candles out. And then I decided I was gonna put these little things up just to kind of corner everything off because I thought it looked nice. Um, I use those in the backyard a ton, you guys will see. And I like have this like drapery that I put up. I honestly think the backyard, even though I didn't put a lot of stuff out there, the concept of the backyard, if I had had more space, I thought was a really, interesting and cool concepts um and i had had like out of everything in this house the backyard was the one thing that i kind of had pre-planned um also i did put windows on the side of my house but i'm well aware that whiskers i think is who's after me is probably gonna have to delete them i had to take luke plum uh luke the plum bobs off because like why would you have windows looking into the house next to you that's just awkward um so i i figure that uh, those windows probably won't be there at the end of this, but uh, I ended up going with this nice red on the inside. 
and I think I light the place up pretty pretty quickly because I couldn't see inside there very well. Um, and I pretty much curtain like from floor to ceiling every single window in this house because it just I don't know I felt like it just really needed the window or the windows to be covered because you know like again thinking about it like a traditional classic vampire you're gonna want something that's not open to the sunlight um so now you see me working on the backyard like I said this is probably this is probably my this is probably my favorite part of the entire house even though again I feel like if I'd had more space it could have been definitely better executed but the idea of the builds was to have these little like pushed together creepy houses which I thought was super cute um so I did add a little couch out there and is that all I put out there I'm pretty sure I oh yeah I don't think I put anything else out there because it just wouldn't have fit right uh so here I am adding some beams so I can add these because I didn't want the curtains out there to just like hover I really wanted the curtains to look like they were attached up there for a reason because I feel like vampires especially because they don't want to be found out are extremely private people like obviously the sun would come in from over top and there was no way to there was no way to combat that but I feel like they would also be extremely private and not want people to know in their business. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to curtain everything off and, you know, hope that they don't have an HOA <laughs> that's going to tell them how they can have their house. And I did leave some little gaps to where, like, the curtains could be pulled back or forward, you know? Like, gave the illusion. Obviously, your Sims can't really do that. But I thought it was a nice touch to have a couple of open areas. Um... I don't know if it was the smartest to have it facing the next person's house because that might like just be a wall there. But um, I decided to have a couple open areas uh, just for just, you know, because why not? And I think I even put curtains right here too, off to the side. I tried to keep them off of uh, Luke's fence as much as I could though. So yeah, I, I don't know. I just, it might seem silly and maybe people won't like it, but I just thought it was such a rad concept. Uh, moving into the house, I don't even think I was able to fit a bathroom or like there's like a tiny seating area downstairs, but the downstairs, I really wanted again to go with that cold, dark black and red feel and I knew that I wanted to have a full table, even if it's not functional. I don't know if it's functional or not. I did not test this before putting it up. Again, I'm so not a builder, you guys. Uh, this was such a challenge for me. I'm not even going to lie about it. But I knew I wanted a full-size table because when I think, again, about a vampire house, I usually think about a mansion and having this huge table where the people sit on either end of the table from each other. And so I really wanted a full table to fit in there. So I made it work. But again, I don't know if it actually functions. It might just be for show. So if you decide to live here with a bunch of crazy Sims, this would be a really cool LP, actually. Like, I challenge you guys, once this is all finished, to jump on this bandwagon and try to actually have Sims live here and tell me how crazy it is in the comment section. I think that would be so freaking cool. I mean, you wouldn't even be able to have a sim per house unless you cheated and added like a mod to the game, but I think it would be worth it. Like, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should try it. <laughs> um, okay, so there's, I really like adding those lights and cross hatching them like that. I just think it looks really cool. Um, so I want, I knew I wanted to add big chairs to the ends and this is the part that I don't think actually functions is the two chairs on the end. I don't think you can actually use chairs like that with a table, but I think all of the other chairs function. So there's that. And then I wanted to put something in the middle of the table, but I realized before I started building this, I actually like did this without CC because I didn't want you guys to have any problems with my house. If, uh, if you're wanting to use it so I decided to actually play it without CC so I realized I didn't have any big rose bouquets uh, those were all CC so I had to settle for just a little single dainty rose on the table but I think it worked and then I added a couple of paintings on the walls um, you know in nice thick black frames and then I added a nice little rug under the table which I liked, okay, kind of gave the illusion that the area was carpeted. And then over here, I added some counters, which I think I actually use different counters than these, but 
Um, I like the way that I did the kitchen because it kind of leads into the backyard so you can like walk through it like it's a big hallway. Um, I think that was a really good way to keep space in the downstairs area. Um, it reminds me a lot of The Sims 2... I think it's for GameCube was how I, I, one of the houses has a kitchen like this where the back door leads out. And ever since then, I've always loved that setup back since the OG days, you know, of that GameCube game. That was, that was my original first uh, introduction to the Sims was the GameCube Sims 2 and um, the co-op mode in particular. I used to play with my friends, <laughs> more like torture them into playing with me because they were just like, this game's lame. But I was like, oh, I love it so much. That's, that's, that's how I should have known that my husband was the one because he would play it with me for hours, even though we were like barely friends at the time. Um, okay. So moving over here, I decided to add just a little tiny seating area. I really wanted to keep the build simple because you guys know how I am. I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like my walls to be super busy. I like to be able to see my game when I'm playing. So I really tried to keep that house true to form in the way that I would have it. Um, really tried to keep my style there. Added some mirrors on the walls. And then I think that's all I do downstairs. I looked for other stuff for the walls, but again, cause I didn't have any of my custom content. There really wasn't much I could do there. Um, then going upstairs, I basically just sectioned off a bathroom and a bedroom because I decided it was just one lonely vampire or, you know, maybe she had a partner or maybe she brings her prey back to her house. I don't know her deal. I don't know what Ember does for a living. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she's, maybe she's a mixologist. <laughs> Okay, and then moving on up here, I did change up the wallpapers a little bit. I tried to do the bathroom in this black and white, but it just did not look good. So I do end up changing it later, but um, just kind of messing with the wallpapers. I still wanted to keep that black and red theme, but I didn't want to use all the same. I also gave the bedroom some carpet like material on the floor. I gave the bathroom some tile and then that main entryway is still the same black wood that I used. And this is all extremely simple upstairs. I don't even feel like I spent too much time on it. I just went with basic pieces basically so it would just function. And I did add some paintings and like big pictures to the walls in the hallway in particular. Um, I did change it up in the bathroom a little bit as well by adding uh, these red curtains, which like everywhere else is black curtains. I think my idea behind that was like, I don't know, Vampires like don't eat. Do they even go to the bathroom? Like, I don't know. My idea behind that was that the bathroom would be really more for guests if this was realistic. And um, so I want to make it a slightly brighter space for guests. Um, I don't know. I I'm weird. <laughs> so I, I do change that wallpaper though. Cause I think I just decide that I genuinely don't like it. Um, here I am looking to see if I can fit any paintings on the walls, but I just didn't find anything that worked. So it did not happen, but I did use that same wallpaper from the bedroom. And then over here, I of course bought the nicest bed I could get, um, put in a couple of end tables and I do change out those lights in the ceiling. Cause I just, uh, they look good. It looks good in the bathroom, but I did not like it in the bedroom. The bedroom felt too bright and I don't know, even though I feel like, do vampires sleep? Like, I know the colons in Twilight Don't, but this is not what I was going for with this one. So, I don't know. Um, I ended up just adding a couple of lights over the end tables. I love that look. Like, someday in my dream home, I'm just going to have really long ceiling lights instead of having something on my end table. I just think it's so nice. Um, and that's pretty much it, aside from, like, I add some flooring to the balcony. and But that's honestly what... I did. So please check out the below bar, you guys, for uh, those other builds from the other creators. Uh, thank you so much to Hatsy for coming up with this idea. It has been such a blast and I really did feel challenged in what I was doing. So thank you so much for coming up with the concept. And um, please, you guys, don't forget to check out that description and follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at CoffeeYT. This is Coffee signing off.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another fall inspired video. This week the weather really dropped so I pulled out a few of my decor pieces and made a few DIYs in preparation of my favorite season and I thought I'd share all of them with you. My good friend Casey always had amazing handmade wreaths to celebrate each season and this one was absolutely inspired by her. 